what were the difficulties that they had to overcome? How was, was the Kennedy administration able to communicate with Khrushchev and the Soviets in Moscow when they didn't have a phone to call each other directly? They did not have a system. How did they problem solve? So through our study of history, we learn problem solving and we learn skills. History is also a laboratory. I used to like give this lesson. I used to put on my lab glasses and my lab coat like a science teacher. And history is the laboratory of humanity. And who am I testing? I get to test myself. I get to think about what would Matthew Webb get to do if I'm studying the American Revolution and I'm studying Lexington and Concord. Would I stand out on that field? What would I do? If I lived in the 1850s, I'd say I lived in Kentucky in the 1850s. And I had a little farm. Would I be willing to use my little farm? as a station on the Underground Railroad, I get to, in essence, test myself in a historical setting. I get to learn about who I am as a person. Would I, in the 1950s and 1960s, during the civil rights years, as a parent, be willing to let my little boy and my little girl who joined the civil rights demonstrations and, mar and marches. How would I feel about that? I get through my study of history. I get to put myself in that place, the laboratory of humanity. That's what history is. History is also a place we get to learn about who we are as a society. Here in the United States, we're Americans. What does it mean when you go out into the world, not just, what does it mean when you say you're American? What does American mean? And we learn through our, our study of history the traits, the characteristics of Americans. We learn through the study of history the traits of different civilizations and different peoples and cultures, helping define who it is that we are, how we got to this point right now. So history helps us understand that. Another thing about history, it helps us, when we study history, we study about the English colonists in the 1600s. We study about John Smith and those English colonists that came to Jamestown and, and settled there on the Chesapeake and struggled to survive. And we think about what it would be like to be there. We try to understand their struggles, their difficulties, how they established governments in the colonies. We study different cultures throughout history. In United States history, we study various Native American cultures, from the Powhatan Indians of the Chesapeake, to the Narragansett of the New England, to the Shoshone to the Sioux, to the Pawnee, to the Chinook. We study different cultures and, and how peoples have interacted. We study what people have gone through. And the picture, many of you have probably seen a picture of migrant mother taken from the mid-1930s during the Great Depression. What people felt in times of extreme economic and extreme social difficulty. Now, why is that important? Because if we can understand what they went through, if we can understand their struggles, and we can understand the difficulties, well, you know what? That helps me to understand other people that are different than me today. I can understand, if I can understand with the English settlers at Jamestown, and I, and I can empathize, that I can empathize with what's going on with, you know, if I'm a Texan, I can understand pride to develop an understanding for Californians, the people from the north. I know it's kind of difficult for Southerners, but yeah, <laughs> to understand, understand people from different parts of the country. Understanding history helps us 
see and understand people and cultures that are different from us. People who are going through things that we have not gone through. 